So, as you girls can tell, I am not here with my beautiful flexi rod set, nor am I here with my plan B three strand twist out. I had been planning for a garden party where I asked you all for a poll of which style I should do. It was between the flexi rod set or the three strand twist out. And the flexi rod set won and I had do dove into as many YouTube videos and tutorials as possible to prepare me for the flexi rod set. Now I'll share some of the lessons I learned at the end of this but I had done the horseshoe method that was created or invented by Curl Days, which is a YouTube channel on here. And the comments were flooded with so many success stories and I thought, I can do this. I definitely can. So my initial plan was to blow dry my hair straight because most of the ladies that did this method had stretched hair and some of them had a looser curl pattern so they didn't have to do as much work. So I decided to stretch my hair I was gonna do it with the blow dryer, but I changed my mind because I didn't want to add put heat on it. And instead I did the Chic Natural, which you have seen that video already. I used her stretching method and it actually gave me a really good stretch results. And so then after that, I installed the, the flexi rods and then set them for one and a half days because I didn't want them to not dry. And so I did, I set them. And in fact, <laughs> I don't normally go out in the public with a scarf or a bonnet on my head but I did because the day before the summer garden party I wanted to pick up some new makeup to wear and so I wore my scarf I sat under the dryer for about 20 minutes again because I was setting this for one and a half days I did not want to overheat my hair and cause any damage unnecessary damage at least and so I did I set my hair and I slept painfully in those flexi rods for about a day and a half. Saturday morning I'm getting ready. The event is at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and I have two hours to get ready because I already have my makeup set, my my outfit, my gown and all that. I was pretty much my hair was the only thing that I needed to put more effort into styling. And so I was taking my flexi rods out one at a time and one thing I noticed was very little definition, very little shine, and lots and lots of tangles. As I began to undo the, so I thought, okay. In my head I thought, that's okay. Once I separate the flexi rods, everything's gonna be okay, you're fine. So I really didn't panic yet. I began to pull them apart, putting oils on my hands, and pulling the flexi rods apart. And the more that I did that, the more that the style ended up showing how much of a disaster it really was. Before I knew it, as you guys saw the picture, I basically had a matted, partially dry, partially set flexi rod fail. It was a total fail. Not the style I envisioned in my mind and not the style I wanted to wear and rock at this event. So I thought to myself, well, don't panic. It's okay, we have a plan B. And obviously I had another wig on deck in case that plan B didn't work. But what I didn't bank on was the emotional distress that was coming over me as the styles were not working out. So I took the flexi rods out, I, I zhuzhed up my hair, and I said fine, I'll just install some twists, some three strand twists, I'll make them big and fluffy so that way I don't have enough time to do the small ones that have worked out for me in the past. I didn't have enough time to set that. So I grabbed some mousse, some more product, slapped it on my hair, tried my best to comb through and to tangle my hair, which was a very tangled mess. I did what little I could do, and just for the sake of not breaking off my hair as much as I had already done, and I started to put my hair in these three big, uh, not three, but a few large three strand twists with the mousse, sat under the dryer, for another 10 minutes and said, I'll do my makeup and everything, set the hair, and then the, that will be the last thing I will do before I walk out of the door. So, and so I did. I had gotten my makeup done and the style was ready. All I had to do now was put on my gown and undo the twist. But the Lord, the Holy Spirit in me, he did. He spoke very, very clear. 
and somehow led me to go take those three strand twist outs before I put on my gown. At this point, the only way I can describe my emotional state is I'm very distressed and I'm not sure if this is gonna work out. So I go to the bathroom and I just do one. I just take one strand, one twist out and sure enough, it was a disaster. There was no coming back, there was no fixing it, it was a done deal. And so rather than take them all out, I came back in my room and I shut the door, I locked it because I just didn't want my mom, my brother and his wife and my nephew, everyone was, people were here at this time while I'm trying to get ready. And the last thing I wanted to do was for people to see me in this very undone state. And so I sat on my bed and I'm like glossing over it in my mind, maybe I should I'm not gonna cry. Maybe I shouldn't go. Maybe I should just let my friend know. My friend was the host of this event, so she was depending on me being there. And so I was ready to text her, hey, I'm not gonna make it, I had an emergency. And I couldn't press in because I couldn't bear the thought of disappointing her because I had missed the last one that she had hosted. And I'm glossing over my head. Maybe I don't wanna go. What else can I do? I sat at the, the door, I sat on the floor, and I'm just, I haven't even started crying yet. I'm crying more now than I did then. And my brother had knocked on the door, and I said, what do you need? I can't talk right now. And then he left, he came back, knocked on the door again. I could sense that maybe he knew something was wrong, and I just couldn't answer. I just said, I didn't say anything. So I sat there for a long time, and then I, frantically began to text my sister who my twin sister who is all the way in northern california for a baby shower she's not even here and i'm texting her frantically what do i do i'm panicking and then she told then i then i remembered that she had a braided wig and so i was like can i use it please and it was brand new the lace hadn't been cut nothing so i didn't want to just start using it out of my own emergency it was hers and so i'm like desperately reaching out to her and she's not responding which I understood because she's at her little gathering I start calling her frantically just calling calling hoping with one act of God she will see that phone ringing but she didn't and so I took the leap of faith that my sister would have wanted me to be happy and I went ahead took the wig started cutting it the lace and then put it on and before I knew it, I felt like this is it. This is the this is what I need right now. And that kind of catapulted, that took me out of that funk I had gotten in. And sure enough, when she got my text, she responded. She's like, yeah, do it, whatever you have to do to get yourself, which I should have known she was gonna do that, but I wanted to be respectful of her her possessions, you know? So I did, I had, had put on the wig, I have it on now, I love it. I'm thinking of just rocking this for another, you know, month or so, but it all turned out wonderfully. The Lord literally pulled me out of that sunken place. And for some reason, I know it was only his strength because when I tell you that everything in me wanted to give up and quit and not go, I'm not exaggerating. I was willing to cancel on this event that I had paid a ticket for, that I my business was a partner, <laughs> and I was not willing to show up. And so anyway, I got myself together. I looked really great. I'll try to share some pictures on the screen and all that. But I will say that it was such an eye-opening experience for me with my hair because, you guys, each time my hair reaches a milestone, something like this happens where i go wrong in my styling process and completely take my myself steps backwards and it's very frustrating i just finished recording a video on being gentle with your hair i mentioned the three mindsets that can prevent you from your from attaining your hair growth goals i just talked about and filmed a video recording my natural hair adventure that has been roller coaster since I started for the last 13 years. And so after the summer growth challenge, seeing my hair reach a length that it's never had before and to see this happen within a matter of a couple of weeks broke, broke me. I felt eaten up inside. I really did. I felt like 
dang, I just, what happened? My sister and I and my mom, we kind of talked about this on Sunday, the day after the gummer, the gummer, <laughs> the summer garden party. And I talked about how when things don't go my way, I have a tendency, and I think most of us do, to throw tantrums and start to panic. But my whole heartbeat of my life has been to do God's will and to surrender to him every day and to keep him first and to trust him and remember that he is always going to do what's best for me. Always. Never without fail. No matter how much it has hurt me in the moment, no matter how much it has disappointed me in the moment, when I look back, hindsight, God did the very best the very best for me and it turned out that way he causes all things to work together for our good for those who love him and are called according to his purposes and I reflected on that weekend and just the, the disaster that that style was and I thought to myself and it could have been the Holy Spirit but it came to my mind and I thought you know what because my hair is unpredictable and I don't have a lot of experience styling it in those kind of expressive styles. My hair probably would have looked a hundred times worse at the end of that day or throughout that event. And I would have found a mirror and saw and thought, oh my gosh, I look horrible. God knows and he sees the future and he causes things in the present to move around to prevent that future pain from happening because as you guys know and I shared this that it has been a long time coming for me to love my hair the way that it grows out of my scalp it has been a very difficult journey I have hated the way I've looked with my natural hair I've hated the way that I felt and so for my own safety and my own security God had to cause that disaster to occur so that I wouldn't have faced that as time went on in the day. My hair would have been so shrunken, it would have been super frizzy, I would have lost all definition and it would have hurt my self-esteem and my confidence. And granted, not all of us are there where we can just wear our hair any kind of way we want. Some of us still have the work to do. It's not, it has nothing to do with opinions of people or people are going to talk about my hair and how unkempt it looked. It has nothing to do with that, but it had everything to do with me feeling my most beautiful so that I can show up in an event and shine and walk in that beauty and grace that God's given me. And so God saw that. He knew what would happen and he protected me from that. The second thing I feel I learned was this is why brides do rehearsals on their makeup and on their hair because your wedding day is not the day you want to experiment. You want to have had experience working and styling your hair and your makeup accordingly so that this doesn't happen. No bride would have wanted to have the hairstyle that I had <laughs> on their wedding day, on the only one day that they will be this bride. So I learned my lesson that if anything, I should have been smart and wise enough to have practiced this style a few times before risking doing it the day of with only two hours to get it together. That wasn't smart on my part and I had overestimated my hair and my ability to style it, though I have not had any experience with flexi rods. And then the third thing I felt that I walked away from this was not just a greater trust in the father to take care of his daughter and protect me from myself, but also, and not just learning that experimentation is very much important and it's never good to try anything new for events that only happen one time. But I believe the third thing was not finding or not depending on my hair to feel beautiful or happy. This situation really taught me that there's still so much of letting go of my hair that I have to do. Because when I tell you guys my hair was breaking so much, my hair was breaking, like just breaking, ripping. I could just hear it. I could hear the pops. I could hear the coils losing their elasticity. I even had, I saw a straight strand, like as if it was heat damaged. And um, it freaked me out and I was just falling apart every time I touched my hair. 
I kept adding product to it, which you don't do that. You don't add product to already tangled matted hair. It's just not gonna work out. I took a brush trying to gently comb it out and my hair was not budging. But I think above all, it really did show me that I'm still very much connected and tied to my hair and its length especially. I don't idolize it, but I feel like there's those are seeds that can start the idolatry and I don't want that. And so I don't know where my hair is right now. The last thing I did before I had done my, my wig and everything was put it in four flat twists and that's how they have been the last three days. And they're probably gonna stay that way for another week until Monday where I'll do a protein treatment. And then I'm just gonna braid my hair down and wear this for the next quarter or so. I don't wanna to touch my hair. I don't wanna be in my hair. I just want it to just rest. My hair went through a lot. And I'm speaking of my hair as if it's a person, but it, it is a part of me and I felt that I did not properly protect it and care for it the way that I should have in the way that I know. That being said, I want to read a few comments that, granted, no one knew that day what I went through. Not, I'm not talking about you guys, but I'm talking about the event and everything. People did not know what I went through that morning. And so to hear all the comments, people were calling me beautiful, princess, all these things. I think I told you guys, this one little girl actually called me Elsa. And I love Elsa. My sister and I love the Frozen series, Frozen 1 and 2, just amazing stories. But I had been showered with so much compliments that day. And it really made me feel beautiful. So I want to shout out some of you for your comments that you had shared with me when I was updating you guys in real time what was going on with my hair. So Fan Don Zumalo1278, I apologize for butchering your name. She said, Flexi Rods, stay betraying me. I hope you found something that will still allow you to show off your beautiful hair. Thank you so much. I'm First of all, it was very comforting to know that you've been betrayed by flexi rods. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever do them again. If I do, I may size up because the flexi rods I did use were very skinny and that may have had something to do with it. But so many women were saying go for smaller if you have shorter hair or finer hair. And so I thought, let me go smaller. But, you know, I think the larger ones, but I doubt I'll be trying flexi rods for a while. And I'm so grateful that you had confidence that I would find a way to show off my beautiful hair. And this goes back to just the verse, the scripture about there's a way that seems right to a man. And also that God's thoughts and ways are much higher than ours. And while I had wanted to rectify the fail and come out of it with lemonade, I couldn't and it just didn't work out. And so I'm grateful. I'm glad that you had the confidence in me, hun. And hopefully as I learn more how to style my hair, I will, I will have less of these fails, but thank you so much. All right. Daughter of the King, 9560, a familiar face or username, I should say. She said, yep, this is why I don't do any of these styles anymore. I ain't got time. Only thing that is consistent is my braid outs and blowouts that's it and i'm right there with you sis because flexi rods are out of the question what has worked faithfully for me were three strand twist outs when i've had the time to do them so i doubt i will ever do flexi rods again i think it's high manipulative in terms of the process but i just don't want to ever do flexi rods again i just think it's one of those things where everybody's different and when it comes to having a kinkier texture there are just certain things we cannot partake in and that's okay there are other things we can do that will preserve our hair and still allow us to feel beautiful and stylish so i'm actually glad to see that you too had <laughs> a, an issue with flexi rods and it just made me feel like i was in a community and i wasn't alone in this struggle and so i'm grateful for you daria po 1502 says so so sorry to hear that but i believe your creativity and knowledge will produce a beautiful style and four of you including me thumbs that comment up this comment came in before the wig so daria's comment actually made me try to do the three strand twist out because i'm like yeah 
I can be creative. I can try to work this out, you know? And now it made me wish that I had like some bobby pins, banana clips. I just needed more tools that could have helped me turn this style maybe into a puff or something like that. But you know, I didn't. So thank you, Daria, so much for your encouragement and just that push. You know, it really is something for me to look back and, and see these because I was trying, you know, and I think we can always try. And, and God will do the rest. And lastly, Hev, Hev Ellie Gamer, Heavenly Gamer, <laughs> but she put Hev Ellie Gamer. LOL, that face. <laughs> Having been on the inside of this disaster, you still looked amazing. Remember, hair always can make a comeback. And my sister, that's her username, but she was on the inside. She saw it and she kept telling me everything happens for a reason. You have to just just look on the the other side of it there could maybe something god is protecting you from and that was so true it really was true because again not knowing my hair i've never really gone out with a flexi raw set before a wash and go yes a flexi raw set no then there was no way of knowing how that would have panned out for me at the end of that event or throughout that event it was hot i was sweating and it just who knows so she was such a pillar for me in this time thank you to my twin sister but she was a pillar for me and an encouragement a support that i needed and as she said hair can always make a comeback i look at over the last 13 years going on 14 of trying to accept my hair embrace it take care of it so that it can grow and each time that i've done terrible things to my hair it has come back and that is such a testament of faith that with God all things are possible and the journey doesn't end now it doesn't mean that the story's over there is just a part of how much sweeter the end is going to be for me and my hair so hair can always make a comeback I'm feeling so much better I'm having a wonderful Monday <laughs> and I'm grateful for the strength that the Lord gave me to record this for you all as much as I love recording when I'm happy and chipper and you know styling my hair these moments are just as important to share and it gives the full picture not a bias or one-sided picture but it gives the full picture that you can appreciate and so i'm grateful again for the community of support you ladies have been to me on the coily code you guys have truly come through for me in terms of just being there when i needed to see those comments and all throughout my videos some of you are commenting on old videos and it just brings my joy back again and so i'm so grateful that you have chosen the coily code to be part of your youtube subscriptions and again like i said i don't know what this means for the future in terms of my content going forward i don't want to mess with my hair and i feel that's the best decision for me right now but if you guys have ideas or there's some videos you want me to record that doesn't require styling please feel free to share them below. That will definitely help me in terms of creating content. So I'm going to leave off with that. I'm just, again, grateful to our, our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven, who knows, who knows, who knows, he knows. So you guys have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.